Hi, welcome everybody. This tutorial demonstrates the interaction between Pangolins Beyond and 3D Studio Max from Autodesk by using Pangolins LC Max plugin. I just opened the scene in 3D Studio Max and in this scene we have some geometry, lights, cameras and animation which describes the movement of objects. The internet offers various tutorials to get you started with 3D Studio Max. So we just render this really simple scene. Just finished. So let's play it. And this gives us a result of a video se sequence created with a 3D animation software. It's a really, really basic animation, but I hope you get the idea. With Beyond version 3.0, Pangolin developed a new plugin for 3D Studio Max called LC Max for Beyond, which allows you to convert everything you create with 3D Studio Max to laser graphics to establish a direct connection to Beyond between Pangolin's Beyond software and 3D Studio Max. Once you have purchased Laser Show Converter Max, Pangolin will deliver the installer file to you. So we just double click on the installer. Here we choose which version of 3D Studio Max we want to use. I choose 3D Studio Max 2013 64-bit. But like you can see, all versions from 2011 to 2018 are supported. In the standard installation, the plugin installs automatically into the correct 3DS plugin directory. and finished. Now we start 3D Studio Max again with the same scene as before. Give it some time. Let's open the scene. And render the scene. You can see the plugin was not able to render. Now to make 3D Studio Max talk laser, we will need to establish the link between 3D Studio Max and beyond. For this, firstly, we need to start Beyond itself, which activates the pure Pangolin hardware. So. Double click on Beyond and give it some time. Back in 3D Studio Max, we go to the Utility plugin, choose the LC Max Utility plugin, and then to the Connection section and say Connect to Beyond. You can see the connection was established successfully. When Beyond is started before 3D Studio Max, a connection will be automatically established. Now we render again. The plugin has now rendered the scene as a laser graphics and it's visible in 3D Studio Max and also immediately visible in Beyond. If you change the timing in 3D Studio Max, also the display in Beyond will be updated. You would not need to have 
beyond active all the time, it is also possible to see the laser preview in PointCoin directly inside the utility plugin. Just make sure beyond is running in the background. Now let's go into a bit more detail. The settings for the plugin can be found in the render settings. So first we have to choose the correct renderer, the LCMX renderer. You will find all global settings like line, color and some laser settings. You can also enable and disable the laser output here. The default settings will work well for most scenes, but you can change them of course. For legacy reasons, we recommend an output size of 320 by 320 pixels. Just change this. That's it. And here you can also define if you want to render a single frame or entire animation. So just as a quick example, we change to a single frame and render again. It's the same as before, just one frame, but you get the idea. But now we are going back to animation rendering for the rest of the presentation. Object specific settings can be found in the utility plugin. To demonstrate this, we choose the LCMAX text. In the first section, you can see some optimized settings for specific object types like splines and round objects. In the next section, you have again the same settings like in the render settings for color and line types. You also have a few more advanced laser settings. In our case, we just change our color to custom color blue. Please make sure to press the assign button. Otherwise, the settings will not be assigned to the object. And we are rendering again. You know the game. You can see already in the preview window that the text is now blue. Now let's open a different scene and we have a look at LCMAX's own modifier plugin. Besides the utility plugin, there is also the possibility to change object or selection specific settings in the modifier plugin. So we select the sphere, we select half of the sphere mesh, and then we attach our LCMAX modifier. You have similar settings like before. Again, line, color, filter and laser settings. In 3D Studio Max, most modifier properties can be animated. This can be really useful in different scenes. In this case, we simply change the output color to texture and we add a simple grid. And we render again. You can see half of the sphere has a gradient and contours, depending on the update window, and the other has the original dark red color. Contours and light can be really helpful to give the scene a bit more depth. Also just texture support is possible. With the latest version of LC Max, we have also a new option called Remove Intersection Lines. You may have spotted in the previous rendering the intersection of the two rectangles is not correct. So let's enable the new option. 
and you should see that only one intersection line is visible instead of two flickering intersection lines. I know it's a bit hard to spot, but I hope you get the idea. Once you are happy with the animation in 3D Studio Max, you can transfer the result into Beyond. So for this, to make sure, you choose the correct projection zone before rendering in the render settings. And then you go to the... Here you can see that our intersection lines are correct. And then you select the active queue inside beyond and say send to beyond. Now your animation is transferred to beyond and you continu can continue working inside beyond. That's it. Enjoy.